Hey Scorpio, it's Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana. Yes, my name has changed. The channel name has changed. My channel is growing and morphing into something more than I could have ever expected. And it was either a now or never kind of thing. And the name change just makes the channel more receptive to people who aren't specifically looking for tarot card readings. So same content, but there'll be more stuff that maybe isn't necessarily tarot card readings, more teaching stuff and cool videos and stuff. But anyway, so deep thoughts with Dana. So, all right, so, 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 um, you come into this reading, Scorpio, as a double badass with the world at your feet. Seriously, you present as the king of wands, success, cockiness, badass, feeling like the top of the world, right? With the king of cups, the king of feels, the king of emotional security, right? I mean, the king of, you got your, you, you got your, you got your success in check and you got your feels in check. And you have the world at your feet because you're about to begin a new chapter of your life. This hasn't been without a lot of thought, though, with the hangman. You have thought about it for a good minute. It's not a flippant decision, right? It's something that is intentional and purposeful. What is your decision? Your decision is to bring forth messages of love with the Prince of Cups, the metaphorical knight in shining armor, right? In regards to who it is that you want to give and receive and share your life on a daily basis with the Six of Pentacles. Four of Cups comes in and says that you have been contemplating, like I said in The Hangman, giving it a good hard think, and reevaluating the entire situation, your life, the, whatever this is, you've been thinking about it hard, reevaluating everything, your decision, you've decided to move forward with the Prince of Cups and deliver messages of love. And the chariot comes in and says, You most certainly are. The chariot is about forward movement, the control, willpower, and determination to take whatever action is necessary to ensure your success. Alchemist comes in. The magician says that you are going to manifest happiness in your life by putting forth some passionate messages. However, there is some residual issues that you have not quite dealt with yet that is preventing you from moving forward. With the Two of Swords, you have indecision and confusion. With the Eight of Swords, you are so wrapped up in your head thinking about whatever this conflict right here is with the Five of Wands. Disagreement, competition, strife, tension, and conflict. You are so wrapped up in your head that you cannot, you're immobilized. You're just immobilized. You can't move. This is what you want to do. This is what your ego wants to do. And you will do this. But you're still really caught up in your head about the situation. The Nine of Wands comes in and says you feel defensive, um, on edge maybe a little bit, right? Because of conflict. And you have inner conflict about this whole situation. Somewhere, somehow, somebody got left out in the cold. And the Seven of Wands comes on top of this and tells us that you feel very guarded about this. Very guarded about it. Very guarded. But you see this whole situation, you see this relationship, whatever this is for you, as golden. You, you really do. You see this whole thing as that it has a lot of substance to it, right? This, this relationship that you want to go forward with messages of feels about, you see, you see sustenance, you see, you see substance in it, right? Where was I? You see substance in it with the Ten of Pentacles. 
King of Pentacles clarifies that, reiterates that, right? You see, you see abundance in this, in this person. The kind of person you might even want to commit to. You're thinking about it. You're thinking hard about committing to this person. Despite this conflict right here. Despite the conflict, you're really thinking hard about committing to this person. And you're trying to screw up your strength. You, you're trying to, you're, you're formulating, right? You're thinking and you're just stewing on it. And you're building up some strength to speak your truth with the Queen of Swords. About how you feel with the Princess of Cups. And how you would like to move forward into the future with this person. King of Swords comes in and says, you are going to speak your truth and you have cut out any kind of pain that came from this conflict that has you all tied up in your head right there. There's going to be some truth, some absolute truth spoken about this situation that is going to put you into the energy of the hermit. It's going to put you into, into seeking inner guidance, right? Just being alone for a minute and trying to sort through all of this. Because this truth right here that you are speaking creates a new journey and a new beginning in your life. With the Three of Cups saying that there's celebration and friendship, happiness. Reunited and reuniting and reconciling with somebody from your past. This creates a tower moment in your life. Tower moment. This is this this reuniting and reconciling with this person from your past. Going on a new journey and a new beginning, right? Putting down all of this broken heart pain and the conflict and the Eight of Swords and being all wrapped up in your head and defensive and hesitant and defensive and defensive and defensive and defensive. Um, you are putting it all down and going forward with reuniting and reconciling with somebody from your past. This causes this reconciliation causes a tower moment just <clears throat> sudden change a revelation and awakening in your life in regards to the very foundation of your kingdom the very foundation of everything this reuniting and reconciling with this person from your past rocks everything a brand new opportunity that brings stability and security to the situation and creates the Ten of Cups, harmony, happiness, and alignment in your relationship. Topped off by the Queen of Pentacles, she's the builder, right? She's, she, she builds things. She builds empires. She builds families. She builds homes. She's the epitome of security. Building a home with somebody else, Scorpio. Changes your life. Wow, Scorp. That was amazing. That was a pretty cool reading. Well, there you go. If you want a personal reading from me, you can hit me up at deepthoughtswithdana.com. Namaste, my friends.